we're in Rutherford right now, deep in Rutherford. Well, actually not deep in Rutherford, right at the entrance actually, close to the cabin. We have a pillow that we are attempting to jump onto um, and then exit with our boards down. So that's the goal. Will we achieve it? We have yet to see. Uh, we're currently building the takeoff here and that's the best part about the backcountry as opposed to the streets is you just build the takeoff, landing's already made for you. Uh, this landing's a little bit flatter, so we'll see what happens, but uh, it's Mikey C, Psycho Mike, Powder Pup, Sean Miskamin, and myself. And obviously noobs behind the camera, so let's uh, go out there and get it. What? Oh yeah! It Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again to I Know What You Did Last Winter. One of the greatest names of all time, thank you Ben Webb. Um, today, Sean Miskman, Mikey Cicerelli, one of the first days we went snowboarding in the backcountry um, of the 2020-2021 season, filming for the King Snow movie. We went up Rutherford and we found this feature in a little zone called uh, Mini Japan. Uh, it's this lily pad feature, really stuck out. I've sledded past this thing a million times. These two guys probably haven't sled past it as many times as I had and have fresh eyes. So talk me through how you spotted this feature, what you want to do on it, and how you're feeling. Uh, Mikey, we're starting with you. Yeah, we, because I remember that day, you were just coming back from your- um, Broken ribs on broken Sonalta. Ribs. So yeah. we were kind of going, and it was, it was a bit stormy. We didn't really know what to expect for the day, but we, I just kept looking around and we'd sledded by it. And I looked to Sean, I was like, do you think if we built a jump, you could almost like butter pad it? And as we were building it, I think there was a lot of doubt because I kept going and just being like, that's really far. And then I'd go, Sean, how, do you think it's far? Craig, what do you think? Out of 10? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, with regards to this working, I think this is a real, this is a solid four because if it works, it's gonna be insane. But there's a lot of things going against us. What, 25 foot gap out to pillow? I'm fired up. Gotta go really far to make it to the pillow. Once you touch the pillow, you can't you can't go soaring past it or else uh, it's kind of flat. And you kind of want to go a little rider's left. So if you can do all those things, check all those boxes. I think you need a shot. It kind of looked like yeah, if you went too slow, you just go into a wall, <laughs> and the rock was exposed, so you really didn't want to go no. short. Don't want to go short. You really don't want to go too long. Yeah. Think that's that fast was so enough? fast, dude. Dude, that did not look fast. I, I could see you feeling like you're going fast, but it didn't look fast enough. <laughs> it did not look fast enough. You hit it first, right? I did hit it first. Yeah. I lost the Rochambeau, yeah. and I really did not want to go first, but I kind of wanted to go first. It was like one of those things where I was like, you want to have the fresh snow on top. Yeah. That was it. Oh. Oh, no. no. no you said winner decides. Usually the winner goes first, but you said winner decides. I didn't, I didn't understand that one. Uh, you did it yourself, Sean. <laughs> You're really not feeling like it, girl. I'm going as fast as I can, and I'm hauling the thing. But that, that first hit, you went way too big, no? Yeah, I yeah. think I aired over it. Yeah. Okay. I think I just went free range. No, oh, you committed yeah. to the, I remember you tried to flip it, and you just aired the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. That was gnar. But you got like the, you got that one like second or third try. You did a sick, like air, like land, and like almost like you used the powers like a yeah, a wake surf ollie, like yeah. a jump. And then I was trying to do that, like air, kind of like turn backside 180. Yeah, that was. Sick. Yeah, I wish but you would have gone. Yeah, it was, I think it was just fun because, like Craig said, I think it was like you're spotting it. Really, we're unsure of it. There was some doubt, and then when you did that front lip, it was like, wow. Super sick. And then, as you mentioned, I had broken ribs, so I wasn't really feeling that one. We went over just, uh, just down the hill a little bit. Um, There's this pillow line that I went and did, and it worked out. There's so was really good. I did an ollie, but as I was riding away, I could just like, my ribs hurt so much, and I like put my arm in there. Actually, I ended up using the shot, which is sick, but uh, another successful day in the backcountry, you know? Yeah, that day was kind of cool, because I feel like we went into it with low expectations. It was kind of like cloudy. Yeah. We didn't know what the weather was going to be like. And we had to wait. Remember, it was like, it got sunny, then it snowed, and we didn't, we weren't sure if it was, yeah. 
So it all grants you. I think that day just says, hey, go out and just try. Yeah, a couple sled airs in yeah. there too, so that was pretty fun. But yeah. um, good day. Thanks for watching.